I want to show you how we can extract different chromatograms from a data file in qualitative analysis. So I'm opening my data file again, and in this case we can see a total iron chromatogram, but we can extract additional information from this data file. We can get the instrument curve and an extracted iron chromatogram as well as a base peak chromatogram, and I'll discuss the, the benefits of these. So if I go right click on the chromatogram and say extract chromatograms, I can start getting different features and different chromatograms. You might also be able to access that menu from the top here if you say extract chromatograms. In this case let's try and pull out the base peak chromatogram and this represents a chromatogram which tracks the most intense iron for a given time point. So in this case we've pulled out the base peak chromatogram and we can see often base peak chromatograms are have less baseline noise and can give us a little bit more uh, a, a clean baseline for given ions. The other feature we can do, of course, is the extracted ion chromatogram. If we right click and we say extract chromatograms and we select the EIC, we can now plug in masses. And in this case, we can see for a chromatogram a time span, this is where this particular mass is coming out in the chromatogram. We can also get instrument curves, which are very useful, especially comparing between data files or if there's been a process drift. So in this case, we can get a, a instrument curve for our binary pump. We can get the pressure, the pump pressure, and we can see the scale here is the pressure was started low and gone up to maybe 100 bar during the acquisition of the run. We can also get the gradient from this information if we go extract chromatograms and we get what the gradient profile was like and used in this data acquisition. In this case you can see it's starting at approximately 0% B and then increasing in percentage B where the analysis stops. Again Scaling these axes, right click or right click and drag, can zoom in, zoom out, and that's how we navigate between different chromatogram traces. I want to uh, highlight that you can't really destroy the data in a data file. So we had our total iron chromatogram. Again, if we extract a chromatogram, we can go for the extracted iron chromatogram. And at any given time, we can delete these traces. And even if we do remove the total iron chromatogram, we can still recover that. In this case, we would need to use our method editor. And in our method editor, we've got this additional chromatograms option where we can now extract additional traces. So in this case, our TIC has disappeared. We can then add it again, extract it again. We can integrate when extracted as well, and we'll deal with integration in a subsequent video. We can also extract the base peak chromatogram, or we can delete certain items. In this case, let's plug in a few values here. So we can extract multiple chromatograms at the same time. Um, if you run this again, you do duplicate them. So you'll see that your chromatogram traces do become quite busy. Again, you can uncheck these, or if you're only interested in one of them, you can use this select, show only the highlighted items, or you can show all the highlighted items in the sample from the chromatograms, and or you can have different display options. And I play around with this to, to simplify these displays